Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create these font icons. Let's open a new document and draw two identical circles with no fill. Select both circles, open the stroke panel and change the stroke weight to 9 points. Next, open the layers panel and lock both sublayers with the circles. Next, we'll create our first icon. Let's draw a long and narrow ellipse. Swap the fill and the stroke and apply a different color. Next, create a copy. Let's give it a different color. Create another copy and distort the top and the bottom just a tiny bit. Change the color again. Make one more copy and do the same. Now switch to the rectangle tool, choose a different color and create a rectangle that is aligned vertically with the ellipses. Select everything, change the color to something light and switch to the shape builder tool. Now choose the same color as we use for the big circle and we will create a few shapes. Click, hold and drag to create the first shape. Then click on this area to create another shape and down below as well. Finally click on this area to create one more shape. Then click away to deselect Switch to the Selection tool and select all the blue shapes. Now press the Delete key on your keyboard. Select this shape, rotate it by 180 degrees and move it to the other side. If you wish, switch to the Direct Selection tool, select the two end anchor points and round the corners. Switch to the Selection tool, select these two shapes, then go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Now select everything and scale it down. Next we'll create these ring lines. First select the handle and create a copy. Swap the fill and the stroke, make sure the stroke is on top and rotate it by 180 degrees. Select the Polygon tool and we will draw a triangle. Click, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the down arrow key on your keyboard to reduce the number of sides to 3. Now rotate it by 270 degrees. Let's move it to the left so the triangle line and the handle line are crossing each other. Now select the triangle and the copied handle, then open the stroke panel, make sure the aligned stroke is set to the center and change the stroke weight to 9 points. Let's open the layers panel and lock the layer with the triangle. Next we'll create an arc. Select the handle, switch to the scissors tool and we will make the first cut at this intersection. If it is hard for you to see the intersection, switch to the outline mode. Just press the Ctrl and Y keys on your keyboard. And click on this intersection to create the first cut. Now create another cut at the bottom. Switch to the Selection tool, select the remaining part and press the Delete key on your keyboard. Select the arc and create a few copies. Let's cut these new pieces as well. Select all the bottom pieces and press the Delete key on your keyboard. Now do the same with the top parts. Next go to Layers, unlock the layer with the triangle and delete it. 
we won't need it anymore. Press Ctrl Y again to exit the outline mode. Let's select these lines, open the stroke panel and change the cap to round cap. If you like, adjust the size and the position. Let's copy this font and place it inside the other circle. Now select the font and the rings and rotate it. Select the font on the right and rotate it by 90 degrees. Next we will create a stand. First draw a rectangle. Then starting at this intersection draw an ellipse that is the width of the rectangle. Switch to the direct selection tool, select the anchor point on the top and drag it up a bit. Next draw a small rectangle and move it to the right. Then reflect it to the other side along this anchor point and create a copy. Select everything but the handle and switch to the Shape Builder tool. Now connect all these shapes together. Click away to deselect, switch to the Selection tool and select the shape at the bottom. Now delete it. Next we'll cut the base to match the profile of the handle. First select all three pieces of the handle and group them together. Then select everything, go to Align window and align them horizontally to the center. Select the handle and ungroup it. Next select both bottom parts of the handle. Then go to Object, Path, Offset Path. Adjust the offset size and click OK. Let's change the color of this new path to bright yellow. Now select the base and the handle pieces. Switch to the Shape Builder tool and delete these shapes. If you check the Layers panel, you will notice the yellow shapes. They are hidden behind the brown shapes. Select all the yellow shapes in the Layers panel and press the Delete key on your keyboard. Switch to the Direct Selection tool, select these two anchor points and let's round the corners. Finally, change the fill to white and draw a circle in the middle. Select everything and group it together. Select the circle and the font and align it to the center. Now group it together. Select the other icon and group it together as well. Select both and align them horizontally to the center. Finally, select everything, group it together and this time align it to the artboard. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.